Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how you can integrate UiPath with GitHub. We are going to look at the integration of GitHub in UiPath. So let's get started. First of all, let's log into github.com. And I hope you have already signed up and you have already signed in to the github.com. If not, there is a video which I have created. How do you sign up? It's a pretty simple process. You can do it on your own. If really you need a help, you can watch that video which I have created. Now, once you sign in, right, the very first thing to integrate UiPath Studio with GitHub, the first thing is we have to create a repository. So let's click on create repository. Okay. Now here you have to provide the repository name. Let's say you need to build a project on banking. So bank, I'm, I'm just taking some example. Okay bank a1 project okay so let's say you take a name and you are creating a repository and ensure the name if you give a space while pro writing the name i'm going to show you let's say i'm going to give a space so what happens generally you get a dash uh, project so it is recommended that you don't if it is required you can go with a uh, space and you know that way it will be filled by the dash it's up to you so i've given a name bank a1 project let's say Okay, so once it is done, the next thing it is going to ask you, would you like to keep this project public or would you like to keep it private? So I would go with a private option. You choose who can see and commit to this repository. Okay, let's keep it private. And then in this page, rest of the options. You can leave it as it is and hit on create repository. Simple. So the very first step of creating repository is done. And then the moment that is done, you see there is a hyperlink given for the repository. That means this is the link to the repository. Very simple. Okay, let's go back to the studio. Okay, now on the studio, first thing, let's say I need to create a project. So I'll go with any, any, uh, let me create a blank process and give it a name. Let's use the same name, bank A1 project. And you can give a description if you need. And I'm going to click on create. So I'm creating a very new project. This could be a robotic enterprise framework template. It could be anything. Okay. You are just having a project wherein you have to collaborate with multiple people. Okay. You need to collaborate with multiple people. So first of all, let's the project get created and then we will, I'm going to show you how do you integrate that with Git. Okay. So the project is ready. So what I'm going to do, let's for a trial purpose first of all let's understand when you go to the project tab you see there's a main.xml file okay this is the main.xml file where you will you know start your project or this is the file from where your project initiates itself so let's say i'm going to add a simple message box okay and i'm going to simply say introduction to git or I will say git integration. So simply create a blank process all or else if you already have that's well and good. Now I would like to integrate with git. So to integrate with git there are two different options. One is you can use this option add to source control or else once you are on the project go to the home page and click on team. Simple and there's an option here called git init. Init means initial the starting project you are in you, you wanted to start a repository so git initialize and read the description add the current project to a new local git repository there is something called local git repository and there is something called remote git repository do you know about this what is this local git repository your project right if you go to uh, wherever your ui path is there just so go to that ui path folder or else you can navigate to that space directly from here you know that right if you go to the project and uh, right click and then click on um, um, open project folder okay if you do this it will bring you to the folder location or else i know the path so this is the project bank a1 project so this is the folder and in this folder if you see do you see anything called git or git do you see anything called git there is no git folder 
once we create this once we go through that option you will see there will be a git folder created inside this so make a, just remember there will be a git folder dot git folder will be created that will be known as your local repository and what is your remote repository the one which is going to get stored on the cloud on the git cloud or on the github that will become your remote repository so it is more like a taking a backup of something right so first of all let's hit on git in it hit on git in it and then it is telling you this is the folder so by default it will select the folder just click on select folder okay the moment you do this go back to the folder location and check you see there is something called a local repository dot git has been added so that will take control of this entire folder so this entire folder will become a local repository now so there are codes which is going to take control and understand what changes happened when the changes happened who did the changes so it is a local repository for my machine okay so there's a dot git folder created okay we understood this now the next thing once you do this the next window that is there on your screen is commit changes right so commit changes so here you see all the files are available now here i'm going to write a message called initial initial template for the project bank a1 something like that i'm giving an understanding what is the commit commit means there are two things okay commit and push commit means you are saving in the local repository so this has become a local repository now git local repository you are saving something on the local repository push means you are pushing that update to the to the remote repository which is the github on the cloud very simple okay don't get confused commit means if there is a new update happening commit means so right now we have created everything we have given a bank name we have created we have added a message you know um, some activity we have used so that means i am i have created something commit means you are saving so more like a save saving in the local repository push means you are pushing it to the cloud or pushing it to the github.com okay to this uh, cloud repository okay so now what i am going to do i am going to hit on commit and push now here is the you know most of us will have challenge over here okay now look at this here it is saying okay give me the name of that repository give me the name of the url so you will go to the github.com you will copy this url you are going to paste it pretty simple right and then what you have next you have um, the project name so you can also copy this name exactly and paste it as as a namespace done so once everything is done you will see there is a add button do not give a space let's say i will make a mistake here now you see the add button is gone okay be careful about all this now let me hit on add once added here this is listed now hit on save simple now the question here is rakesh how um, github will understand okay he, you are the user who is using ui path right that is a question now many people will have this problem from here what is it asking enter a credential it is asking enter a credential and it is selecting by default sign in with github so this is the easiest option or the other option is also going with a user password that means many people what they will try they will try the username of github and then they will try the password right anything um, you know let me type the password properly okay and they'll click on okay so many people you will you know they will find problems see even though i am typing the username and password of my github it's not accepting that is the right password right uh, username but it's not accepting authentication failed many people will have problem over here so on this window you find something called sign in with github okay so if you hit on sign in it is asking you to open in your studio and you can see it has automatically pulled the email address rakesh87 for you that gives an indication okay i am authenticated now right my username has been pulled and i'm going to click on okay so many will also do this but soon after that you will get an error message you do not have right access to this github repository please request access to change your credentials getting it that means it is not allowing you and next thing if you would like to push it 
you know um, let's say you, I want to push it something so it is uh, immediately going to throw me an error you do not have right access you do not have right access so if you are getting this error do you know how to fix it it is quite simple go to github.com okay and then from here many will have this problem try this out and here I'm going to simply say apps slash UI path getting it get up com apps slash UI path hit on enter so there is a integ for the integration to happen with github and UI path there is an app called UI path okay so this is the app which I need to install simple once you install it is asking you install on your personal account Rakesh 87 for you okay fine all repositories this applies to all current and future repositories say yes okay this is the latest way of doing it only select repositories you can also select you can go with this option uh, and select the repository you want but I would go with this one all repositories okay now read access to metadata read and write access to code everything is permitted hit on install this is very important so once you do this once you do this the the, uh, the area where I, I was having problem if I try to push it now okay so what happened is there an error no error understood now first of all let's understand how this is working let's say I am going to create another module called login module new uh, sequence um, and I'm going to say login module or anything as such okay so any sequence um, login module to uh, that bank application okay bank admin application bank admin app there could be multiple applications which were in unit to login so now uh, admin portal now here I am going to click on create so what happened today there is another XML file which got created which is known as login module bank admin port dot XML file so there is a change so generally what would happen first thing how it works first thing your local repository should be up updated one is by saving it updates uh, you know when, when you save it it does update your look uh, your main dot XML and this module okay there's a new module which has come this is just for the project but again when it comes to the git repository you know if you go to this git there are a lot many folders which uh, keeps understanding what changes happened now for this to have that update all you need to do go to your project getting it so the git need to understand okay there was an update UiPath understood but git has to understand right so go here and right click on your main uh, bank a1 project and I, I can hit on commit you can also do it for the individual items so I'm going to hit on commit so the moment I hit on commit it shows me login module is something new do you see login module is something new and here I am going to say added login login module Rakesh Rakesh assigned to Rakesh okay so if I'm a um, project manager I, I'm doing you know I'm, I'm helping the team I'm creating a module and assigning to somebody so I've done that here and now login uh, there is another process to assign but again I'm simply giving you an example so what would happen when I say commit when I say commit or hit on this button the local repository the dot git right it is going to understand okay there was some change so for that you need to hit on commit so I, if I wanted to also commit and update my update my repository so let's see that okay we have created the repository let's go to the home isn't it and then hit on this repository so all that we have created main.xml everything has appeared right everything has appeared now I have created another one so I need to push it I need to push it to the uh, cloud github.com so here what I will do I'll hit on commit and push one is it is going to update the local one and the other one it's also going to send it to the cloud uh, github.com so let me hit on commit and push clear now the moment I do this what happened if you go back and try to click on this link once again it will refresh and you can see a login module has been updated now and the important part if you if I go back to the bank one project 
and here you see there are two commits if you go to the commits it also gives me a high level understanding initial template was created and then added login module assigned it to rakesh so i can see a history of what is happening okay on april 13 2022 so something like that you will be able to um, you know use there are a lot many things to learn on, around github but this is the initial thing that one should do to integrate github uh, with ui path okay so thank you guys for watching it we are going to come up with more such interesting contents so till then please do subscribe to my ch channel in case you have not done it already and uh, we are going to meet in the next video thank you take care bye bye